Hey, what's going on people from the tube? Once again, we're here. I'm in a new spot. This spot is fantastic. I'm in a little peninsula type of thing. And it has a lot of areas that I can move around if I need to. So let's get started. So I'm on a different area. Commodore stood at home. Uh, we are at 32 degrees right now, so he might get really, really, really cold. So we left him home with Kristen. So he's chilling. So the cool thing with this area is that this peninsula goes around and I got water all around the peninsula. But in front of me, about 80 yards of me, there is uh, a whole bunch of reeds and in front of all those reeds there is a lot of open water so if needed be i can hide behind those reeds and have a closer shot to whatever lands on that water so in the meantime i set up my blind that's for when the sun comes out and i need to chill and sit down but what i'm gonna do the peninsula is surrounded by reeds as well I'm gonna get myself in front of the reeds for the first part of the fly and I can have a complete direct look at the decoys and in that way whatever comes that way uh, we take a shot another important thing today I got a plan B my plan B is like logically I got my other chokes with me but I brought a case of three and a half inch number two federal and I want to try those guys so I'm gonna start with my cans three three inch number threes if the birds are flying a little bit farther or I feather them like, like it was happening in the past, then I will I will switch to the three and a half number twos. And if the birds are getting a little bit farther out, then I will get out of my mid-range choke and I will get to my low range. So we have opportunity now. The important part is we need to have birds flying. If birds are not flying, logically we can do anything. <laughs> but apparently they did a lot of damage yesterday on the shootout on saturday so let's see let's see what we can do so stay tuned three more minutes before we start shooting it's so cold that the batteries on the gopro are going down so fast all right, one minute. It's shooting time. There we go. They flare. Okay, here it comes around. See? They're landing behind. So. If that's the case, we're gonna move there so I can have a better chance. <sighs> Too far out. I have to move. Water is like 30 degrees. Oh, oh man. this is big. There they are. I tell you. I tell you. I tell you.
Boom. On the board. Let's do. I need shells. I'm out of shells.
travelers. Yeah, baby. So we are seating, seating on three shovelers, one hand, two drakes, and I have missed another shot to be limited out to be honest, but I have missed a lot. But bears are still flying, um, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, so bears are still flying, let's see if we can back some more. I'm gonna take a little snack, but today I'll show you. So they didn't have the traditional snacks that I normally get. So today we're gonna try Sorry, today we're gonna try the jalapeno sizzle. See how this goes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty tasty actually. Tastes like cheese and salsa type of thing. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna munch these really quick and keep my eyes peeled. See if we can back some more birds. Well, so that is the, the spread. And I have my blind behind me there. And I'm sitting in the in the reeds. I missed so many shots. I could be limited out. Come on. Ah. I'm gonna open this hole a little bit more. I don't have enough room, but we're gonna open this a little bit more just in case that Amber decides to come. And I'll put him down.
screw up all this one, but he's really least. Yeah, baby. One more group like that. And we'll leave it out. Two drag shoveler and a hand shoveler, blue and teal, and two widgets. Super excited! I would have get the limit, but I missed quite a few shots. So by heart, I got the limit because I, I feathered two birds. So by heart, I got the limit, but I'm one short. This is amazing. Talk to you guys when I get home. The GoPro got out of battery and I gotta get out of here before I get cited for being late. All right, so well, there you have it. What a hunt. This is the hunt that I've been waiting for. Uh, it, it was super, super, super cool. Uh, we had a really cold weather and the spot was spot on. I did like that spot a lot. It was really nice. Birds were flying. I had one person two pulls over. There was nobody else around. So there wasn't that much craziness and pressure. This is what I've been hoping for. This is the opportunity that I've been hoping for. And I could have been seriously limited out probably around 10 in the morning. But my shooting, oh man, was all over the place. I'm extremely happy. I came one short from the limit though. One shot from the limit, but we're almost there. It was a great, great, great day. Spent the entire day though. Left, I left the refuge. I did my check out about 5.30. I pretty much was there from 2.30 in the morning until 5.30 in the afternoon. Cool day, great, great day. It's kind of a bummer the Commodore wasn't there. Now, there was a lot of misses that I had for not waiting. I was, or I anticipated the, the, the dogs working and I got up way too early or I got up way too late so my timing was a little bit off now in the morning though by the time that I did the move and I got towards the front ridge I forgot to put my gloves and it was cold so my hands were kind of like stiff and cold so but yeah I had a lot of misses but I had a lot of a, a, birds that I connected to. I did connect with a lot of birds that didn't fall down. So I think that I'm, I'm going back to my number two. So I did use the Federal Speed Shock uh, three and a half inch number twos and those things hit hard. Like they hit really hard. 
Um, but once again, the only complaint that I have with Federal, every shell when you shoot, they burn and you get the smell. Federal are really particular, or at least to me, the smell is super rough and I, I, I kind of, I, it kind of bugs me a little. Something that can has a smell as well, like every other shell, but it's not as aggressive as, as the Federal ones. I gotta say, those things hit hard. So now the next hunt, I actually have a box of three and a half twos. I'm gonna take those with me this time and and do a comparison. I think that the issue that I was having with the with the the three inch number threes is that they didn't, they were packing the punch that I was expecting. At least not with the with the with the mid range choke. I don't know. I would have to try it with the with the full uh, with the full range but regardless what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to once the season is over I'm going to go to the desert and I'm going to take pretty much every single shell that I have used and I'm going to repattern the shotgun with both choke tubes um, I'm going to bring the federals now the only issue that I have with federals here in California is that in most places that I normally acquire ammo, I can't find them like literally when I bought this box that I had it just I only had one box uh, was kind of like a fluke that it, it was there and just 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 happened to buy it, but um, It's not as as common like I hear a lot of people have issues finding cans or elsewhere But actually here I find them pretty much everywhere. So um, It's one of those crazy things But going back to the hunt I did well, so I did try those shells. I like them. I'm gonna do the try on the 3.5s uh, number twos and see how of can and see how that goes. But yeah, so far my best hunt yet. Um, what would have make it even better would have been if Commodore was there and he would have get to do some retrieves. But that wasn't the case. It was way too cold, and in a way, I'm really glad that he stood home and and didn't go through the through the whole craziness. But it was it was a great day. Other than that, I'm still waiting for Commodore's uh, warmer to come in the mail, and so I can do a test run on that and see how that's gonna work and how am I gonna be able to set everything up with within his setup and his blind and the whole nine. Other oh, and um, yeah, super cool, super pumped. I got those six birds, which is funny because in that refuge, uh, blue wind teal is not that common. You more likely will find cinnamon teal, uh, but this guy was just this just happened to to show it up. So yeah, as I said, like I had a lot of birds flying in my face, and I don't even know how I missed those. But I'm not gonna find excuses or anything. It's just it is what it is, and and we did the best that we could. I, as I said, I had plenty of chances to to limit out, but it wasn't the day to to get the, my first limit. So maybe the next one. But I'm I'm really happy. I'm really excited. It was it was it was super cool to to see and experience a hunt like that where I can able to where birds were coming in and were constantly going to coin. Now I did fell asleep, and what woke me up was a group of uh, pintails trying to get on decoy. And I could hear the winds and I look up and like I'm trying to focus on, on, on what I'm seeing and they, they kind of like saw me and I saw them and I'm like, oh my god! And I pulled the shotgun but nothing, I couldn't connect. But yeah, it was such a great day that I even took a super cold seat in the water in the middle of the Ritz nap. And it's probably one of the best naps I ever had. So there you have it great hunt and i'm beyond excited the, i needed this i needed i needed a hunt this way to fill me back up and, and fuel me and give me give me more push and drive um to finish the season and i got it so yeah super pumped super excited thank you so very much for everybody for watching if you like this video like subscribe share click notification bell so you can be notified every time that i upload a new video and i will see you in the next one Pancho out